Hi guys, so in today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about the Dynair airbrush makeup system. Now, I haven't seen many reviews on it. Like, I've seen people do like six reviews on the on the whole, you know, airbrush system when it comes to Dynair. I've seen other brands that have like tons of reviews, but Dynair is kind of like the underdog because not many people have done reviews on this, you know, product. So, first things first, everything in this video I have paid for. Well, I didn't pay for it. It was a birthday gift, but everything in this video was not endorsed by Dynair or I'm not getting paid to say my opinion or anything like that. So, yeah, um, the product is called the Dynair Airbrush System and the one that I have is the, I believe it's like the cheapest one right now which is like at a price at $100. So I'm not sure, I think it's the Dynair, I forgot what it was called, but it was just like, the, it's, there's three of them and there's like the most expensive one. There's like, you know, the one in the middle and there's like the first one. The first one is the one that I'm going to be talking to you guys about. I'll probably put the name in, in the description below. Um, what I really do like about the Dynair system is that I've seen all these other, you know, airbrush, you know, brands and they have all these other, you know, airbrush systems. But I forgot what brand it was, but this brand specifically so three different type of, you know, like compressors because if you don't know about airbrush systems, the compressor is what, you know, you can adjust the amount of air pressure that you want to come out of the compressor and go into the, you know, the little tube and it goes to the gut, whatever. Anyways, this brand, so three different compressors and the most expensive compressor, which was like priced at like $500 or like $400, was that it had like unlimited settings. And then like the cheapest ones only had like two settings, which was high and low. And what I really like about the Dynair system is that no matter which, you know, compressor you buy, they're all, they all have like universal, you know, settings. So you don't, doesn't, you don't really, there's not much of a difference in like the packages that you buy from Dynair when it comes to like makeup kits. The only difference is, you know, obviously what you get in the packages, you know, when one, one comes with like three free samples of foundation, the other one comes with like three, six samples, and the other one comes with like all this other good stuff. So yeah, um, let's just get started. Now what I have in my hand right here is the compressor. It comes in like a variety of, I think, six different colors or more. Depending on the package you get, that's the only difference is the color. The package that I got, I, 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 only, I could only pick between the black one and like this hot pink one. And I chose the hot pink one because the black one wasn't my favorite. So this is what it looks like. It's the compressor. It has like a little, you know, bedazzled bead here. So that, this is kind of like what tells you where you're at and then it comes like this little wedge in the in the dial where you put your finger in and you can adjust it to whatever setting you want. Now the settings are universal like you can go all around but the kit tells you you know to go to 12 o'clock for foundation with 12 o'clock obviously being right here for foundation or go somewhere around I don't know the, I don't know the rest because I just use this for foundation. But it also it comes like this little hook right here where you put your gun in. I kind of have like foundation right here. Whoops. But um, this is the on and off switch, obviously. And then this is where you adapt the part that goes into the plug and it does all that magic stuff. And here is where you plug in the hose for the gun. So yeah, this is just a compressor. I think this is the lightest compressor that they have. And it's pretty heavy, so imagine the other compressors. But yeah, it's really cute. Um, this doesn't even say the color. Okay, this is the Dynair Pro Light. That's what it is. this one is called, the Pro Light. And yeah, obviously light because it's the lightest one there. But yeah, this is what the compressor looks like. It says Dynair in the front, and yeah. The next thing you get in the kit is also the hose, which is extremely long so I thought it would be shorter than this but I'm guessing you can if you want you can cut it to make it shorter but the longer it is you know the easier it is to move around your face with it but yeah this hose is pretty long you I, you can actually buy longer ones in the Dynair store so yeah this hose is just for me I don't need to buy another one this is perfect the kit also included this measuring stick which looks like this. I think this is extremely like useful, but for me, I think it's really pointless and it's really complicated to use. It's just basically a really like you can literally literally take it out. It's like a just a long Q-tip and this you know 
plastic thing with like lines on it that tells you how far away from your face you're supposed to be. So I'm, I, be I believe that this is, you know, separated into like inches. So like if you're over here, then you're probably, you know, about, wait, one, two, three, four, five inches away from your face right now. Well, you're probably an inch away from your face right now. And then if you push it up more, you see how the Q-tip is like right here? And then these two are empty. Then you're two inches away from your face. And then if you keep pushing it, this little this tells you, you know, how far away you should be from your face. And then it comes with like these little two hooks that you can attach to your little to your gun. And that will help you, you know, apply your makeup from the distance. But I don't really use this because I think it's annoying and it gets in the way. So yeah. Due to popular demand, I believe Dynair is now giving away with every kit you purchase some foundations. Like the like the one that I got, I think, has these three colors, and they came entirely free. Um, this one is C156, which is a medium tone. This one is a C146, which is like the lightest color. They all probably look the same. And then this one is the C142. They're all basically the same shade, except they run in like lighter, darker, you know. There's the lightest one, the darkest one, and there's like the medium, the one in the middle. So yeah, um, you can just get these with any kit you buy. Actually, before you buy the kits, you should send your picture into Dynair. And Dynair will, um, from the picture you send in, depending if you have a good camera or not, they will, you know, I guess draw the makeup on your face and tell you which shade you are. And that's what they did for me. And it... It works for me like their system worked for me I guess a lot of that has to do with that when you send in the picture you're not make sure one the cap the picture has flash but the flash isn't as strong so that way you don't come out extra light and the, that the picture you know isn't you know um how can I say this not I guess yeah, just the whole flash thing, you know, the, for the flash. Make sure, check the picture and make sure that it looks like you and it looks like you on an everyday basis when, when you don't have makeup. Because if you send a picture with the flash on, obviously your face is going to look lighter than it is and it's going to make them, you know, pick a foundation for you that isn't your shade. But since you send in a picture where your face is lighter, they're going to say it's your shade. So yeah, basically you have to like mix the foundations to get your shade. For me, I'm a, I believe, I'm an olive, golden olive or something and then with some other color. I don't know. I have to mix two of those foundations just to get my shade. And yeah. The kit also included this airbrush cleaner. I was actually going to buy one of these but then I saw that the kit came with one. And for... I believe the regular airbrush cleaner is about six dollars, five ninety nine, six dollars, and it's a little bit bigger than this. But I think that t you get a free one with the package you get. I think this should last you about a good five months, cause you should always replace it. But I think this would last like a good five months before you have to like replace it. So yeah, free air airbrush cleaner, and of course you get the adapter for the compressor. And it's just your typical adapter. It says Dynair on it, of course. And it is, I believe the volt is, um, so this is a 12 volt output. So, yeah, this is it. And it comes like this little adapter to adapt it to the compressor. And again, the, the wire is really long so you can move around. You're not limited to like one space. Now, of course, Dynair did not send in all of these things, like, individually. They sent it in, like, little packaging. It's just a clear little bag, and it has, like, a zipper on it. What what I didn't like about the bag was that it didn't have their name, you know, anywhere. Like, just the boxes inside of the bag had the name, but the bag itself didn't even have a name. It was just, like, a plastic bag. So, um, yeah. This is just empty boxes that I'm taking out. Where, you know, the airbrush cleaner came in, it's like a clutch, empty bags. You, um, I originally bought a, a grip for the lever of my gun, but you don't have to because I didn't know this. But the gun does come with one already on it, so I spent it's not even expensive, it's 50 cents. So I spent 50 cents extra for something that already came with the gun. So, yeah, you also do get a free coupon. Yeah, you get a coupon. I'm so mad I did not know this. I did not know this. That it says you put in the code free makeup with a kit 
purchase and you get free makeup and it's true you get like a 3 ml little sample of a makeup of, of another foundation which I'm so mad about because I did not know this and then you know you it comes like another coupon for five dollars off and then it just says their Instagram over here and I hope thank you for ordering things so yep and then it also did come with oops it came with like these sample faces but it came with like this sample face where you can um it tells you to um fill your gun with up with water and to practice you know the pressure around the face you know if you're going in deeper on the paper that means you're applying too much pressure for the foundation or if you're trying to do eyeshadow it's, it just sends you like a lot of practice papers and then it sends you like this really 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 long quick start guide which is really long and the quick start guide goes from the front to the back and it's just basically telling you you know to start off with water less is more bands because the gun does come with bands behind the lever but I took them off because the band I didn't like it wasn't like my cup of tea I guess I can say but yeah this says listen to the airbrush listen listen to the airbrush um, it's like a little at a time it drives on contact and practice with the front with like spray rhythmic thick rhythmic rocky motion whatever rocky motion so yeah that came in there dine air exchanges and returns 30 day money back guarantee policy so for those of you saying on the internet that dine air because i saw a couple of reviews and people were like oh dine air you buy something you can't return it here is a 30 day money back thing on it um if you're not on your kid, purchase, contact on your service, blah, blah, blah. Although you will be charged a 25% restocking fee. So, I mean, come on. Um, customer dollars come for all shipping and handling charges. So, I'm guessing, yeah, you don't kind of, kind of get all your money back because you kind of pay your 25% for the restocking fee and then you have to pay your shipping, shipping and handling. So, you don't get all your money back. But, oh, it also says, um, return to accepting on makeup colors, ear tan, or other liquids and expandables. Customers must make all types of items that are missing and correct the damage to the previous products. So, yeah, just, yeah, you kind of, you don't get your, own, your whole money back. All your money back. Whoops. Came with the disclaimer, do not take air wash apart, take a dime size drop of makeup on your skin before use, never spray directly to your eyes, that is just the basic stuff. And just your warranty card for Dine Air, which I have to fill out. Um, I don't even know why this is in here. Well, it came with the rubber band, like I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this rubber band, like I seriously don't know. If anyone knows what I'm supposed to do with this rubber band that came like a little baggy, Please let me know because I have no idea. I'm just about to tie my hair with this. Like, I don't even know what the rubber band is for. And it came with this little kit. And he, inside of this was the airbrush guide. And it's a designer airbrush makeup. It kind of looks like a glasses kit where you know where you put your glasses in, you know. Back in the day, you know. It also came with this Dynair opening cap with white lid liner white lid liner I don't know whatever but basically it's telling you to open the foundation with a pin because I'm guessing that if you take the whole you know the little plastic thing that's covering the whole foundation when you open it up I'm guessing if you take that lid oh that's what the white lid the when you take that lid off it'll probably dry up your foundation when it's instead of when you know when you put a little pin to make a little hole so yeah and it tells you how many drops you're supposed to drop and then it came with another Distance exercise, foundation blush, eyeshadow liner, and it's just all these little dots. And then you're supposed to, you know, pick, you know, spray it along, and yeah. Oh, doo -doo -doo. it came with a little sample of the moist. I have, I don't use this because I, yeah, I don't use this because. People say you're supposed to use it if you have like really, really dry skin when you apply makeup, and I don't. I have really oily skin, so I'm not gonna apply the, you know, the little sample of the Dynair Moisture, Moist and Dewy. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, it's just a little, little sample, and I'm not probably not even gonna use it. Okay, so now for my review on, you know, the Dynair Airbrush Makeup System. I am in love with this. Like, I've only been using it for probably about two days, but I am in love with it. Like, the foundation, like, if, like, today for this video, I did my makeup with this, with this airbrush system. And there's no unevenness, there's no, you know, different 
tone on my face it does cover up everything I do have concealer like I apply my concealer first around my eye areas where I have hyperpigmentation and then I apply the airbrush system but it just looks so good like it's I don't even know how to explain it but it looks really good I really like this better than the whole you know foundation with the brush and you know the whole uh, I don't like that anymore I really do love this um but yeah they get an A for foundation I, I haven't tried the foundation out yet like when I'm going to school so I'm gonna try that out you know but I so far I really do love this foundation it gives you a really natural coverage it doesn't look cakey it looks normal I, I really do like this and I, what I also do love is that if you apply this foundation you touch your face and it feels like you know when you exfoliate your skin and your skin feels really smooth like this foundation does the same thing like it just feels it doesn't feel like you have foundation like rough like if your skin underneath is soft it's the foundation feels soft like it just feels like you have nothing on but air like it just it feels like you don't have any makeup on but it's just so soft like I don't even know how to explain the feeling like I wish you could literally like come and touch my face because it feels like I have nothing on my face like it's just that perfect um so yeah I give this thing a 10 I think everyone should go buy one of these and try them out because they are just so perfect and they're so affordable it's only a hundred dollars you do have to pay for shipping but I'm pretty sure there's a code on um, retail me not that if you spend more than I think twenty dollars you'll get free shipping so definitely take advantage of this it's only a hundred dollars go on retail me not and look up Dynair and just type in Dynair and it'll give you like a list of coupons that you can use for the website so definitely go check it out I will see you guys on my next video um, but yeah I love you guys and I will see you in my next video and thank you for watching I hope that this review helped and I will probably make a video of me applying this foundation but I'm not gonna do that now because I just got my makeup done so anyways I see I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video why I keep freaking repeating that ah. but uh, bye just bye <laughs>